Welcome. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we should start with very this. Formal. Good evening, yes. Tonight, it's time for Let's Talk About. And tonight, we're talking about what, darling? We're talking about wine. Wine tasting. Oh, jolly good. Yes, we, we are in fact talking about wine tasting. It's Monday night. We're here every Monday night. This is Kim. She's lovely. Kim is a certified clinical aromatherapist, so I'm just certified. So realistically, I'm we're talking about <laughs> the effect that smell has on your sense of, like on your taste, mm. um, and how it affects the brain and the limbic system. But we figured that you probably wouldn't watch this video <laughs> if we told you that. So we're calling it Wine and Oils. <laughs> okay, so let's roll the music. You can see all the little things flying around us, it's all those flying ants. We've got a million flying ants, yeah. It takes a while to get to the music, doesn't it? I know, we need to go. Let's talk about wine, wine and tasting. Oils. Oh. <laughs> wine and oils, okay, I got it this time. That may be, let's talk about wine, wine and oils. oils. Wine, wine and oils. <laughs> Wine, wine and oils. oils. So wine and this oils. is for over 18. So if you're under 18, you should switch this video off right now. Okay. That includes all of Jeremy's students. Yep. So wait until you're actually old enough to drink. drink. Yep. yep. We're not certainly not encouraging that for underage people. All right. So the the amazing thing about essential oils is that they actually are the fastest of all of your scents. You can smell something faster than you can taste it, hear it. Feel it, any of what are yeah. the other senses? The other senses. <laughs> yeah, Whatever the other, the other, one. other ones yeah. are, you can actually taste, um, smell is the fastest, yeah. okay? Faster than you can taste. Them, Which is so. quite fascinating. It and is. you know why that is, though, don't you? you are you going to tell me? Well, yeah, because basically it's the shortest distance between your nose to your brain. It's a direct route. So, as opposed to other senses, which have to go via other pathways. So it gets there faster. So the thing is that when you actually inhale a scent, it goes straight into the limbic system in the brain, mm -hmm. which is where our emotions and our memories are actually stored, mm -hmm. and it triggers a response, okay? So it can actually affect the way that things taste. And it's why a lot of older people, when they go into nursing homes and things like that, they lose their want to eat food, like they lose that hunger sensation mm. and that, you know, they don't enjoy eating anymore mm. because a lot of our taste is actually linked to our sense of smell. And if something doesn't smell nice, um, then we're not going to eat it. And that's kind of like, um, I guess, a protection, if you like, that developed over time. Because if something smelled off, then it was immediate, it told our brain, don't eat that, it smells off, and yeah. you'll get sick, okay? Yeah. So it's very much linked to that. But it's why essential oils can actually affect our moods. So, you know, like if you're um, feeling sad and you inhale an essential oil and it immediately makes you feel happier. Joy. Or if you're um, right. feeling a bit anxious and you might want to calm down and you smell something like lavender, it calms you, or frankincense, it calms you Stress down. Away. So anyway. Yeah. Enough with the theory stuff, let's get into tasting some wines. And am I the guinea pig? Yes, Jeremy's I am the guinea, the guinea pig. pig. Okay. Everything in moderation, okay? Yep. We're not here to condone huge amounts of drinking. No. Um, but the reality is that the, if, you know, what is good is that if you've been given a cheap crappy wine. You can fix it. <laughs> you can fix it. You just need a few essential oils. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the selection, none of these are cheap and crappy though, aren't they? No. no. I went We've got some today. nice wines. Um, all right, so the first one up is a sparkling wine. Okay. I actually, um, when I was at uni, oh. I worked my way through uni by waitressing in pretty posh restaurants and also um, in bars. And so I do know a fair bit about wines. Uh, I've also been to Champagne in, um, in France. I absolutely love, love, love yeah, sparkling so wines. This, up. this is a it Tempest is really 2. Bad. What have we got? Tempest 2. I love Tempest 2. Who's been to Tempest 2 Blank in the Hunter Valley? Um, the reason why, I, I think I should open it, <laughs> I'm yeah, a bit it's not, worried. It's okay, it's coming. Um, Here we go. When, um, when I was oh. younger, my favourite sparkling wine was actually a um, sparkling called Lisa Brute. And it was made by McWigan. Um, McWigan wines are also in the Hunter Valley. And um, 
the head owner of McWigan, uh, he made this shampoo, uh, this sparkling for his daughter, Lisa Brute. Anyway, Lisa now runs Tempest 2 across the road, so there you go, that's a little bit of trivia think, for you. I actually think I dated her, possibly. I dated someone called Lisa who was a brute. I'm sure oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's the trick right, to, um, to wine tasting, uh, well, you know, basically, normally you would spit it out into a bucket, but we don't have a bucket. <laughs> I'm going to spit it out on you. Okay, so what I want you to do when wine tasting and matching with oils is to taste the wine first. So smell it, um, taste it, swirl it around in your mouth to try and get it, you know, up in, in your gums and, you know. All right, now... You know you're supposed to swirl it around, then you open up your mouth, breathe in over it, and that actually brings the... There you go. So what we're going to do in order to actually try okay, out that's nice um, essential oils and matching with wine is we're going to use a toothpick. So we get the toothpick and we put it in the bottle mm. and we get a little bit on the toothpick. Then what I want you to do is to smell the toothpick, take a few deep breaths, get that okay, right in so there. So that's lime oil. Lime oil. And then I want you to taste the sparkling wine and tell me if you think it tastes any different. I feel like it tastes tastes a little bit sweeter maybe in a weird way. Sweeter? Yeah. Some people say crispier with the lime. So the essential oils that actually match with um, the other thing you can, can do is stir. <laughs> yeah, you can yeah, stir. Let's, the, let's try a the toothpick. The other essential oils that match with sparkling wines are all of your citrus. So your lime, your lemon, grapefruit, orange, tangerine, jade lemon, even neroli, and also rose. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, you definitely get the lime kick there. Yeah. All right, so that's the first okay, one. Good. So maybe you can grab a pen and paper. Those oils again were lime, lemon, grapefruit, neroli, orange, tangerine, jade lemon, and rose. They're the ones that match with sparkling. Right, the next one we're going to do is a sweet white. So this might be a Pinot Gris. Um, we've got a sweet Sauv Blanc. Um, Distant south, all the way from Tasmania. So to all the Tasmaniacs out of there, make some nice wines. Okay. All right, so this one we're actually going to do tangerine. So once again, have oh, a little bit of a nice taste too. of the wine. And I'm this going one's really, to it's really fruity. dip the oil in, uh, dip the toothpick into the tangerine. Have a bit of a smell. You've got a, one of the insecty things crawling oh. on you. Okay, tangerine is a little bit more subtle than the lime, I find. Okay. All right, so the ones that match with your sweet whites are bergamot, lime, lemon, citrus fresh, hmm. orange, tangerine, and spearmint. Yeah, so that it does. That makes it feel a little bit tangier. Is that the way it's supposed to go? Yeah. It's, it's quite a fruity wine. But yeah, that definitely brings out more of the... The citrusy little bit. So I'll read that list again in. for those of you who've Sorry. got pen and paper. It's sweet wines are, and you can also do Riesling. My mum used to be a Riesling drinker. Uh, bergamot, lime, lemon, citrus fresh, orange, tangerine, and spearmint. All right, let's move on. Mm, I like that. Okay, the next one we've got is a Chardonnay. So any of your um, sort of. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically any of your other whites that aren't sweet. So this one's Jamison's Rum, Shardy. Sounds like we're Limestone finding Post. wine here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. Oh. So um, Jeremy's going to have a taste, swirl it around in his mouth, and the oil that goes with white wines we're going to do today is actually lavender. Now that's a that seems to me like a weird. Combination. Lavender with Chardonnay. Get I mean, your Chardonnay. Have a bit so of strong. love with your Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've sucked a fair bit of lavender into my nostrils now. Yeah, well, that changes it quite dramatically. That's nice. But, yeah, you can definitely get the lavender coming through. Sort of without the super floweriness, but you still get the lavender 
Let's dip it. All right, so your white wines, for those of you with pen and paper, lavender, ylang ylang, bergamot, copaiba. So if you've got tons of copaiba. Yeah, I'd love to try copaiba. Frankincense, you can do frankincense with white wine, myrrh, joy, white angelica, and lemongrass. Oh, okay, so lavender is really strong. So if you're going to toothpick it, you'll really get the lavender in that one. Lavender, ylang ylang, bergamot, copaiba, frankincense, myrrh, Joy, white angelica, and lemongrass. All right, let's move on to the rosé. Okay, so we've got a fifth leg rosé. The um, oil that we're going to match with rosé today is actually stress away. So we're not going to put the toothpick into the wine this time because stress away isn't a culinary oil. So we're just going to put it on the toothpick and inhale it. Um, all right, so we'll get some stress away on our toothpick. Stress away is a blend of vanilla, lime, lavender, um, ocotea, and copaiba. Mm, I love stress away. So it has that cinnamony lime smell to it. Yeah, it's got the vanilla. -y. Is it vanilla? -y? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Okay, let's have a. Look at these creatures crawling. No, that's weird. It I'm not good at describing wines, but it, it tastes smooth. It gives like a smoother kind of taste to it. It's very really nice. So the essential oils or blends that match with your rosés are Stress Away, Jade Lemon, Grapefruit, Rosé, Neroli, and Geranium. Rosé, did you say? <laughs> Rose. Rose matches with rosé. So the thing that I love to do um, when doing wine and oil matching is actually to make some food. So mm. we, when we did this at our home Keep just talking. before Christmas, we made up a guacamole with avocado and we put the lime oil in it. And so therefore, um, we, you know, you could actually eat the lime like guacamole and drink the sparkling. Or with the rosé, you could make up the um, Turkish figs, which is where you get the figs and dip them in chocolate with geranium or rose oil um, mixed in with the chocolate. They're quite delicious. See, I've got these things crawling on me. All right. <laughs> That's because we live in the bush. Mm. All right, next one is a red. Okay. Um, so with red, again, oh, you can yes. do oh. frankincense, you can actually do cedar wood, Idaho blue spruce, northern lights black spruce, black pepper, thieves, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. Um, the reds are very similar to the last one that we're going to do. Um, so we're actually going to do cinnamon. Okay, so just so you know, this is Pepper Tree, Shiraz 2016. So that, I'm just reading it, that's from um, cool climate regions of orange and rat and bully. That's, yeah, it's a beautiful wine. Pepper tree. Okay, let's have a look. Alright, so we're going to do cinnamon. So have a smell of the wine. Mmm. Have a smell, have a sip. Mmm, that's a nice wine. Alright, and then we've got the cinnamon bar. Oh. Mmm, that's quite refreshing. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. That adds a little kind of interesting tang to it. Mm. So I'll read the list again for the reds. Frankincense, cedarwood, Idaho blue spruce, northern lights black spruce, black pepper, thieves, cinnamon, nutmeg and clove. Yeah, I like that combination. That's good. All right. Interesting. And last but not least, we're going to do a port. So you can do a port or a dessert wine. Um, this this is not your three dollar port. I should have bought you three dollars. <laughs> no, it's, you it's nice. It's, it's a Grand, Grand Burge uh, age twenty. That should be delicious. Okay. All right. So the one that we're going to actually do with this is nutmeg. Um, mm. You can do nutmeg, clove, cardamom is really good with dessert wines or sweet reds. Uh, black pepper, peppermint, or jasmine. So, um, but this time, as I say, we're going to do mm -hmm. the nutmeg. I can't imagine what peppermint would be like. 
Do you want to do peppermint? I've got that too. I don't know, we can try. Do you well. nutmeg first? I oh, love yeah. nutmeg in my chia pudding. Do you guys eat chia pudding? Nutmeg's a strong flavour, isn't it? Strong. Hmm, okay. I think nutmeg goes really, really well with port. So once again, you can make some food with the nutmeg and serve it with the port. Mm. But to, yeah, it just, it, yeah, it brings out, I don't, again, I don't know how to describe wines, but kind of the top end of the, the top notes come out a bit more clearly. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so try the peppermint. Great after dinner mint. You can make up some after dinner mint chocolates and serve them with the port at the end of the <sighs> meal. Okay, so food good. matching and wine matching has been a thing for years um, and we're just enhancing that by using the essential oils. So use the essential oils to flavour your food and... Um, oh, that's interesting. I think the peppermint kind of stimulates your nose so then the, the port kind of, it feels like it comes up a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to dip it. Can I dip it? Yeah. Okay. Peppermint's one of our culinary oils as is nutmeg. Okay. Oh yeah, you can smell it in there. Anyway, the point of tonight was basically mm. to show you that nice. um, essential oils are have an amazing influence over your other senses. So over your sense of taste, mm. um, they affect your emotions and your mind. Um, and using them, you know, to match with wine or to match, you know, to include in food, um, is a great thing to do. Can we just go back to the the toothpick thing because if you're gonna if you are gonna use essential oils in cooking this was a lesson I learned when I was cooking my famous spaghetti and Kim said you should put some oregano in there so I went I oh, know some basil it was um, basil so I went great so I just put two or three drops in there toothpick would you like some baby. spaghetti with your basil? Yeah, it's it's very strong. So, yeah, when, especially when you're... Sorry, I'm fishing out things that are crawling on I'll me. get that. Um, when you're using oils, yeah, go go easy to start with. Like, it's better to... You can always add more. Can't take it out. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we've given you a great list tonight to try out. Yep. Let us know what your favourites are. Um, maybe you come up with a new one that we haven't got on our list. We'd if love you to do, hear. invite us over. Yeah. We'll try it out. Alright, we will see you same time, same channel next week. And if you've got any suggestions, always, as always, or any comments, put them in the comments below. And yeah, we will see you. Good night.